If you had minted a board ape in April 2021 for 0.08 ETH, you could have flipped it for 118 ETH. That is an insane 1400X. NFTs can make you king or popper in a few years, depending on how you play your cards. In this video, we'll take your hand and walk you through the largest NFT marketplace, OpenSea. We will teach you how to create an OpenSea account and use the best features of OpenSea in your NFT trading. We will then talk about how to spot the best NFTs for trading and whether you should buy your NFT immediately or make an offer. If you are an NFT beginner, this is a perfect video. Before you go any further, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can continue to make excellent educational content for you. What is OpenSea? Created in 2017 by Denon Finzer and Alex Atala, OpenSea is the biggest NFT marketplace. Although it's primarily known for Ethereum NFT trading, OpenSea also supports Solana, Polygon, Binance, and Avalanche NFTs. You can trade fine art, digital collectibles, PFPs, or even Web3 domain names on OpenSea. If you are a newbie to the space and don't know what an NFT is, check our NFT explainer video in the description below. OpenSea is decentralized and fully transparent, meaning all transactions are recorded on the blockchain and fully visible to anybody through a blockchain explorer. OpenSea is also non-custodial, meaning it does not hold your NFT asset. Your NFT assets will always be stored in your crypto wallets. With its no-code tools and easy-to-use interface, minting, trading, and creating NFTs is extremely easy, even for NFT beginners. With OpenSea, you can also create your own collection, which means you can burn by putting your collection on the OpenSea marketplace. How to create an OpenSea account. Unlike Amazon, Alibaba, and other marketplaces, you do not need to create an account to access OpenSea. Instead, you can access and trade on OpenSea by connecting your crypto wallet to the website. Building a crypto wallet is extremely easy, and you can create a wallet with zero personal information. Most wallets will not even ask you for your email address. If you hold Binance or Solana NFTs, you can connect your Phantom or BitKeep wallets to OpenSea. You can even directly connect your Ledger or Trezor hardware wallet to the website and place your trades. This will ensure that your digital assets remain safe. OpenSea features. Once you have connected your wallet to OpenSea, the next step is to get familiarized with some of its features. On the OpenSea homepage, you can view trending collections of the past 24 hours. These collections can be filtered according to blockchains, for example, ETH NFTs, Sol NFTs, etc. Once you click a project page, a brief description is displayed at the top and links to all its social media platforms. For example, Twitter, Medium, and their website are provided. Also, before buying an NFT, look for the verified blue tick beside the collector's name. This indicates that OpenSea has verified the collection and you are not purchasing a duplicate. If you have connected your wallet, you can create your own NFT watch list to keep tabs on your favorite collections and stay updated with price fluctuations. Which NFT should you buy? Now let's talk about how to spot the best NFTs to trade. A good NFT collection will have utility, a docs to experienced team, an excellent social media presence, and a roaring community of holders. If you want us to create a detailed video on how to spot the next 100x NFT early, please tell us in the comments below. You are also free to tell us any other topic you want us to cover. We will send you $25 as a thank you gift if we choose your topic. Although much research goes into picking the best NFT, we will restrict the video to research you can do on OpenSea. So let's dive in. First and foremost, if you're buying on the secondary market, you must look for demand for your NFT. Because when you want to sell your NFT and there is no demand, you will get stuck with it. To gauge the demand for a collection, go to the activity section of a collection on OpenSea and check the sales for the past few days. If 15 or more deals are happening daily, the project has a decent demand and can be considered. You can always buy a project with lower demand, but please understand that it will take some time to sell your NFT if liquidity is low. Next, you would want to look at the total volume traded, listings, percentage, and percentage of unique owners. Naturally, the more time and volume a collection has in the NFT market, the higher its chances of creating profits for you. If a project has more than 10,000 ETH in volume, it signifies that they have already established trust among its holders and have spent enough time in the market. It is a good sign that the listing percentage is under 10%. The lower the rate of listings, the higher will be the demand. A lower listing percentage signals that the floor price can increase as demand shock will be created. Moreover, you want to look at the percentage of unique owners. When a collection has a few owners, you can get dumped on and experience more volatility in price. A high rate of unique owners signals that the floor price will not be manipulated in the future. Next, you want to look at the current floor price of an NFT. Under the activity tab on OpenSea, you will find a line chart for average price that shows the floor price history of the collection. If the floor price has been rising for a while, this is not a good time to get in because there's a high chance that the floor price will turn its direction and start going down soon. A collection with a stable or declining floor price is a better buy. We advise you to buy a floor priced NFT as those are easier to sell. If you love their art and do not have a liquidity crunch, you can buy a rare NFT piece from the collection. As a rule of thumb, rare NFTs go for 3x the floor price. Word of caution, rare NFTs are more expensive when buying and have fewer buyers, so it will be harder for you to get rid of them. If you 
you need ideas of which project to invest in, go to the trending section on OpenSea and look at the best performing collections. Once you find a decent project in the list, check for all the metrics mentioned above. Once you've decided on an NFT collection, there are two options. You can choose buy now where you will immediately possess the NFT, or you can place an offer on a specific NFT for your desired price. So this process can take some time. To check which specific NFTs are available on an auction, choose the quote on auction filter on the left of your screen. You can also choose to make a collection offer on OpenSea. With this feature, you are making an open offer to any holder who accepts it. OpenSea also displays the quote best offer made on a collection. So make sure you bid over that amount to get accepted. Remember that if you buy now, you must hold ETH tokens in your crypto wallet. You will also be paying the gas fees for the transaction from your wallet. So you must have some extra ETH to cover the transaction costs. When you make an offer, you must hold wrapped ETH or W ETH for the amount you are bidding. If you make an offer and it's accepted, the person holding the NFT will bear the transaction's gas fees. This is particularly important because gas fees on Ethereum can be exceptionally high. Also, when you trade NFTs, you will have to give that portion of your money to OpenSea and the creators. OpenSea charges a 2.5% flat fee on all transactions, and the creator's royalty can be viewed at the top of the collection page on OpenSea. Make sure to account for these costs and your price when selling your NFT because you won't get the total price mentioned. That brings us to the end of this OpenSea tutorial. If you have questions on NFT trading on OpenSea, drop them in the comments below and we will be happy to answer. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time with another awesome video.